dear learners a very warm welcome to ignu you are now part of a very big and reputed university in the world my name is dr makbul ali lashkar i am deputy director ignu noida regional centers you have already taken admission and it is time that you start concentrating on your study and start learning in this video i will be presenting you some issues related to your study materials and also related to projects practicals dissertations internships workbook field work lab etc let me begin with the study material first ignu has created self learning materials for the learners enrolled in ignu as part of your admission in ignu you are entitled to get these self learning materials either in print form or in soft copy form there are other format also i will be telling you about the details as i proceed further so first of all let me tell you about the printed portion of the materials self instructional printed material you call it slm in ignu these are learning learner centers materials student has to study on their own and if there is any doubt there are some academic counselor who clear their doubt otherwise these are learn learner centric efforts and learner has to give time and study on their own that is the basic point and important point that you have to understand you will be you will be having only limited counseling session to clear your doubt for the content of your program <coughs> sorry so the printed measured materials written in self instructional style for both theory and practical components of the programs is provided to learner in the form of print book or ebook then ignu has created numerous audio visual material for aiding the learners so these are learning packages which contains audio and video programs which have been produced by the university for better clarification and enhancement of understanding of the course material given to the learners it means these are already in addition to the material provided to you in the form of print or soft copy so this audio visual programs are in the form of video and normally it is of 22 to 30 minutes duration then specifically when coming to the video content ignu has a ignu has created various digital platforms like egyankush www.egyankush.ac.in which is a digital learning plat repository of the university actually it is a big repository the video programs are also telecast on ignu national network like gyan darshan and sham prabha channels and another important very effective program delivery for you is the gyan bani broadcasting which is a curriculum based audio programs and many times it is <coughs> it is delivered in a interactive mode Pe people can participate as a learner you can participate experts will be there and they will be presenting um, various course related programs and it is based on it is you call it a interactive radio counseling it is monitored and controlled by the electronic media production center at ignu madangadi now coming to the another important aspect of the study material digital study materials so the as i mentioned earlier the university has digitized the study material for different programs and the same is available on e gyankush the link is given in the background 
presentation here. This is the digital repository of the university as I already mentioned earlier. The university encourages the use of this digital study material <coughs> and this is particularly relevant in the context of the current COVID scenario. It has been decided that as an incentive, 15 percent concession shall be given to the student who opt for digital study material in place of printed study material. Many of you might have already opted for this soft copy. So in that case, you will not be given the printed version of the study material. You have to download your soft copy of the study material from the e Kush link already available and you can see in the presentation background presentation or you can visit IGNU website IGNU www.ignu.ac.in and in the first page itself you can see the e-gyankush you can click there and you will get different materials available on that platform IGNU e-gyankush platform. Then another major development in view of the large scale use of smartphones, tablets and in order to facilitate the learners of IGNU, IGNU has created a mobile app also. It is called IGNU e-content mobile app. This mobile app is available on IGNU Play Store. It is available in Play Store, Google Play Store. You can download it and this is actually e-content. IGNU e-content mobile app is actually official mobile app of Indira Gandhi National Open University and it is an ICT based initiative of IGNU to provide digital learning environment to the IGNU learners and extending technology enabled learner support services to all of you. So the aim of this initiative is to disseminate the digital digitized course material to all of you and IGNU learners can use this app to access course material through their handheld devices such as mobile phones and tablet. So oh, I request all of you to download or install this app and you can read as you go conveniently. It is a flexible system and you can read anytime because you are having your smartphone at your hand only. Now coming to the issue of distribution of study material, let me tell you briefly that those who have already taken admission for the July 2020 sessions, many of, many of the study material has already been displaced either from IGNU headquarters or by the regional centers. A study materials, when you say distribution of study materials, it is basically, it basically means printed study materials. And those who, uh, already I told you, those who have opted for soft copy, they will not be getting these printed materials. These printed study materials are sent to the student by post at the address mentioned in the application form during the time of admissions. And many times it has been observed that books are returned back either due to a desk problem. In fact, in case of IGNU Noida Research Centers, it has been observed that more than 50% books are returned back. So in that case, we have to adopt some other methodologies for providing you the materials. You send study materials to some of the selected study centers in remote areas which are located in far away and you SMS students to collect the study material from their study center which is nearby to, their, to, to them. Then you send SMS to students who are, who are nearby to the regional centers and you ask them to collect the study material from, from the regional centers. So this is the methodology and, and you will continue to follow it. And as far as the returns of the study materials are concerned, you are planning to upload these materials of the July 2026 return materials on the IGNU Noida Regional Centers website, which is rcnoida.ignu.ac.in. And this will be, again, I will be mentioning at the end of this slide. Then, study material dispatch status. When you send study materials, you keep tracking of the dispatch. So, a student can check online whether the material has been sent or not, in if sent, where it was sent, what are the courses it has sent. It is available on IGNU website. You can check the dispatch of your study material using IGNU website and the link I have given 
in the background presentation which is available and you can see it. Study materials nowadays available in different formats for the benefits of learners and IGNU is using all these benefits including um, online platforms. So IGNU has created IGNU Facebook live recorded videos. It is available under eGyankush. You can when you click eGyankush platform, you will find different kind of materials. eGyankush, you will find this recorded video, Facebook live recorded video, then some courses. These some courses, I will specifically tell you that government of India has decided that many students student can opt for <coughs> some credits through Shayam course also. And there is a Shayam portal of the government of India, shayam.gov.in. You can log in and many of the courses are available free of course. I request all of you to join this Shayam platform and earn, learn degree, learn some basic things from there and in fact some course may be also opted from there then you can learn many things in fact it is a very diversified course content available there then IGNU YouTube uh, numerous YouTube videos are available again on the eGAN course once you open eGAN course you will find all these videos then IGNU has a podcast podcast means there are some lectures which are presented interesting topic on topics using experts and it has been it has been posted on IGNU website. Sometimes you find boring to see the videos, so you can simply listen it, listen and learn. You can connect this podcast link through your mobile and listen it and learn it very conveniently. So study material related issues you can contact for various there may be issues related to study materials. For that you have to contact us and the contact details I have given here in this presentations. So first it will be through email. You can write email at slmrcnoida at the rate ignu.ac.in. Secondly and most importantly for all your queries related to study materials and any other issues you can go to IGNU, IGNU student grievance portal which is available on IGNU website under the section student section under the student sections. So this you record of this, this is very important and in fact I will request all of you that as a beginning you first check IGNU website and see each and every link on the IGNU website what are available on the IGNU website. Then IGNU official email address rcnoida at the rate ignu.ac.in and as I told you earlier status of the return material will be posted on IGNU website, rcnoida website rcnoida at the rate ignu.ac.in and you may keep on checking this website for all update information as well. So this is all what I would like to tell you all about regarding materials. Now let me briefly tell about the projects, practicals, lab works, dissertations, internship, field works, workbooks, etc. Many of the programs of IGNU has in fact these components, practicals, projects, lab works, dissertations, internship, field work, workbooks, etc. So these are important component as per the requirement of some specific programs and this has to be done compulsorily. And practical sessions are held in your study centers only. And for practicals, for practicals some certain minimum attendance is very very compulsory. You cannot avoid this. You can avoid academic counseling for your theory courses, but this practical component you are supposed to do, and this has to be done at your research center only. So, you have to approach your research center now regarding any of your practical courses. As far as the projects, dissertations are concerned, again, for all this component, you will be getting a guidebook as a part of your study materials. In fact, every, everything are provided through a program guidebook. Program guidebook plus project, project guidebook, desertion guidebook, internship guidebook, field work, etc. And there is a guidebook. And it is advised that all of you refer to this program guidebook compulsorily. And all these issues are dealt with in your study centers only. 
you are not supposed to write or come to the resolution center for all these issues in for field for field works also for workable also and for project guide dissertation guides or internship related guides you have to contact your study centers they will be providing you all the necessary support services in this matters you go to your study centers make a good relations with all the faculties staff academy counselors contact coordinators or you can write email to them also you check the address of all your study centers and frequently visit their <coughs> it is a important academic academic meeting point for you the resolution center is only a support service administrative support service in the resolution center you will not find academic support service academic support service is provided at your resolution center only of course some some regulatory issues are addressed regarding your study so this is all i i would like to present to all of you and i would like to thank all of you that you have you have chosen to learn you have decided to learn further and you have chosen igno as your as your favorite destination for the learning in fact at igno you will be enjoying it and in fact you will be doing your program very conveniently and if you take your program very seriously it will be very good for you you can progress develop like any other institutions of a regular university there is no deviations there is no difference of the your degree uh, from any other of the university regular university in fact many of the students of igno are doing very well very fine and they are progressing they are also and i would urge upon you that you take interest in learning learning has to be there it is very important for your personal and professional development it is very important for the growth of the university of the nations and as a whole society in large so igno is there for all of you it is going to support you in a very effective manners you will be trying our best and you will be addressing all your issues you do write to us as i already mentioned all the details and you check it always check igno website or learn, try to learn from different formats available and my best wishes to all of you all the best for any issue please write to us again i request all of you and in phone through phone it may be very difficult to address numerous students writing will be more effective way of addressing your problem all the best thank you